All right, y'all, so I whipped out this old camera that I bought when I was like 16. A couple years ago, like so many years ago. But I bought this camera when I was 16 years old. And I'm just using it today because I've been like on a fiend. Like I've been like fiending to get a digital camera so bad. And I was like, wait. This may not be like an actual digital camera, but I could have sworn that I had one of these, like just like one of them old ass cameras, you know? So I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I even had this. So I'm gonna be using this camera for like the next couple days, test it out, see if the quality is good, and yeah. I think gas is cheap over here. I just passed the place. Gas is $2.69. If it's not cheap over there and it's packed, I'm turning back around because I only saw one car there. $2.69? Or it was $2.79. One of the two. I really drove past it real quick. But yeah. Oh, better not fing go. So yeah, if gas is cheaper, back flat away. I'm, I'm busting a Yui real fast and in a hurry. <laughs> so, yeah. Hit this chick, get my bills paid. That get my bills paid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The cops was over there, 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 there. And it was two, so I'm playing with my hair. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna get some gas. I can't. Bitch. That gas says 320 over there. I'm making my way back to that hood that hood gas station. This is at 279. I'm not passing up two dollars and seventy-nine cent worth of gas. Like I'm not. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, we cheap over here. Like I'm I'm sorry, like gas is 320. 320 at Murphy's. It was just 289 a couple days ago. I'm going back to the hood. Like I'm going back to the hood. I'm going to go get my gas and I'm not playing. I'm not like I'm not playing with nobody. So Fuck around and got lucky with two freaks. Class when she had the money to suit me. Two bad class grew up in Goose Creek. Are you serious? Yeah, I just pulled up to the gas station. I just pulled up to the gas station. I just pulled up to the gas station. Bro, why is all the pumps are broken? I see why that gas is 279. That's why you can't do shit for niggas in the hood. Like, <sighs> why is the pumps broken? So this is one across the street. It's 309. 
just gonna have to suck it up and pay 309 for gas. That's the cheapest I've seen this whole way here. They be playing. They, they put five pe five cubes of stacks of your shit. They hit our minds. I sure I'm tired. Do I feel like tying it up? It might be thirsty for you. How could you blame me? I might be that for you. Do you need me? Maybe we can get away. You a star, you need space, we can shoot up out of town. Have you ever been to Texas? Just reply me, I don't wanna spend time fighting. I don't. Got a Hennessy in my hand. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Cause all I do is wonder if you've been in over bad rules for someone else. Welcome to them. like a tote bag whore like these are really cute mm -hmm. can you even see that yeah because like it's misleading but it's up here hey, yeah, what's up blurry and i thought it was fine like, So this is the caricature picture. This is so cute. I knew he was gonna make my lips big. I knew it. But this is so cute. Like I can see us like in like one of like the 90s type of cartoon. I feel like when I go through stuff now, 
I just just let it just eat me up alive or just let it do what it do. That's why I don't be trying to text people because when I do try to text and be vulnerable, everybody act like they're not there. But I'm on my way to go turn in my car. I don't have the funds. I don't have the funds to get a rental. So it's just like, now I'm gonna be carless during the 4th of July weekend, knowing everybody name I'm gonna be out, partying, getting drinks, and just all this other stuff. And what's this car next to me looking at? I'm just gonna be at home, working, like, Like, I could just cry just think about it. Because, like, it's not my fault. Like, it's genuinely not my fault that I'm finna be in this predicament. I can understand if I didn't hit that nigga. And then, like, if I would have hit him and I, I was in the wrong. But, no, he was in the wrong. And I feel like I shouldn't be having to pay nothing out of pocket for a rental car. Like, even if it is just $50, it's still the principal that I didn't ask to get hit. And, and so now I'm on my way to go turn in my car and see how long that's gonna take to get fixed, work, and then like, mind you, like when it is time for me to go pick up my car, like how am I supposed to go pick it up? Pick it up, go pick it up, drive an hour, on a, I mean ride the train for an hour or something, just to go pick it up. Like it's just, it's just so much going on right now. And I'm just drained. I'm just tired. I just, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, great way to start off the new month. And I'm tired too, because I was up last night having thoughts and stuff. And them thoughts were just keeping me up. And I ain't go to sleep till maybe three, somewhere around 4 a.m. Alarm went off at 6.45. It lucky scared me because I was having a weird dream and but I'm on my way to the collision place to go turn in my car and I just feel like I just feel like another reason why I'm just so sad because like I will, I'm, a, I'm always a friend that like I always want to pick somebody up I always want to take them here I always take them there but I feel like now since I'm in this predicament ain't nobody going to be able to be open arms like the same system you know um, and be able to help me during these little week or two weeks or three weeks or however many weeks it is for them to fix my car, order parts. Stay in the second or third lane from left. So.